Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to briefly discuss how you can set up a face just like this in Desmos and even make it so you can toggle a slider and change some feature of the face. I, ch I changed the hair right here and you can do the same thing or something different. So how do we do this? Well, if we go over to our calculator right here, I'm gonna do the default zoom. I'm just gonna enter in some horizontal lines. Let's say Y equals three and y equals negative three. These lines go on forever, but I want to set up a face. I want to cut them off somewhere. And an easy way to do that is to restrict the domain in some way. And all you need are these curly brackets and then tell it what x values you want to graph. So right now I'm only graphing x values from negative four up to positive four. And you can see right now that the way I've set the inequality, it's actually undefined at positive four and negative four. Uh, so I want to fix that. You don't need to, but I think it's nice to be inclusive of those values. I just type an equal sign after the inequality, and now it's defined from negative four up to positive four. I'm going to do the same thing on the other line, copy and paste, and now I start to get my shape going. Likewise here, if I want a vertical line, that's going to be at x equals negative four and x equals positive four. Only now I want to restrict the range. In that case, my range will go from negative three up to positive three, negative three and positive three, and I wanna restrict the range, which is the y values of a function. So I can restrict the range very quickly by doing that and then pasting it here. And now I've got a shape that I can work with. You can do the same thing for the eyes or in the other parts of the face. I would also sort out these pieces into folders. So you press the plus button, go to folder, name what you're sorting, drag it up to the top, and to put the items in the folder, you just slide them over to the right until you see that line. You see that line that's appearing right there? That's how I set this up. Then I can show or hide that part of the face and collapse it so it's nice and neat. But I can also set up a slider. Let's say I want A to equal, um, in this case, have it be three. A equals three, got it. Now, this is useful because we can change the domain or the range restrictions by going from one number to another number or by going from a number to a variable or a variable to a variable. So in this case, if I change the range restriction on these two vertical lines to go from negative three to A, and I'll have a, let's say the lowest point I wanted to hit is, let's say three, and go up to six. Now what this is saying is that the range restriction of these lines is going between positive six and three. So you can set the upper bound of a range to a variable and then animate it to get any kind of change you want. And I, I encourage you to be creative with that. See what you can set up for the class to see. Thanks.